Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So we do store a decent amount of fuel here off grid, uh, particularly diesel and also gasoline. But I wanted to talk to you about long-term storage. Now, people do have uh, and uh, invest in large containers that contain diesel uh, because it can be stored a long time. Gasoline, obviously not as much because uh, it is more flammable especially when it uh, you know mystifies and aerates and and goes in that gaseous state that's highly highly combustible and of course you can't really store gasoline long term because of the um, of the breakdown in it because of the ethanol and the the uh, uh, I guess the way that the water itself will um, get out of that mixture and so we store diesel and so that's a lot more stable but diesel also has issues as well. And this is kind of the first time I've had a major problem with it. And that's why I'm making this video. Now, diesel is pretty much uh, the best uh, liquid type of fuel that you can, you can, you can store long term, other than like, let's say really high percentage alcohol. Uh, but not everything really can run on that. But diesel will run most of the equipment that I use, um, tractors, things like that but as well as vehicles and this is the first time I've run into this problem and that's why I'm making this video so for long-term storage yeah people that use additives and whatnot um, and especially gasoline needs uh, it needs additives but diesel it's pretty good as it comes but it does have issues and that's why you need this guy okay let me come in a little bit closer get out of the sun so yeah, so what am I holding here? Well, it is a biocide. In fact, particularly this is designed to kill bacteria and slime in fuel. So most things that um, you know I, I run on the homestead, um, farm equipment in general, don't usually have that much of a problem with bacteria growth and, and fungi growth or fungi growth, um, things like that because the fuel systems are a little bit more robust and they don't require that much pressure. Um, the lines are, you know, thicker usually and uh, and yeah, it, it, they're, they're a little bit um, hardier and more rugged, right? So versus, let's say, a vehicle like a car. Um, and so cars really, this is the first time I've had any issues, but, but basically what happened to me was I noticed as I was using some old diesel that I had laying around at the very bottom of it I, I noticed some growth and it was bacterial uh, fungal I wasn't exactly sure but I used it because it's diesel right so hey look you know diesel stores for a long time blah 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 I didn't think I've actually not that I didn't think I really had no problems with things like that in the past with uh, farming equipment but with diesel uh, car though, a diesel vehicle, um, I started having some issues. Now, here were the issues. Uh, on normal roads, no problem at all. But as soon as I put the vehicle under load, uh, climbing hills, it would just go into limp mode. And I had no problems otherwise with the engine or the transmission. So I can figure it out for a while. And then a couple of the brothers that I have got me onto this type of product and that, that is a, a bio side or a fungal side or you know basically something to kill uh, these little pesky things in our fuel so this particular one I mean <laughs> I took some um, organic chemistry but this thing is off the chain I, I mean it's a uh, I can't even pronounce it but I'll try it's two Theosinomethyldiodenzothiozoid uh, or something like that, two and a half percent, and another methylene bis uh, thiocyanate, and then other ingredients, total 100%. So lots of um, bad stuff. Basically, it's cyanide, right? And that's what it kills. <laughs> that's why it kills these things, and it's as here in the danger, well, I have lots of danger things all over it, even written in Spanish. So there's first aid stuff, and it also has like, you know, notes to the physician, and it says it's corrosive. And of course, the rest of the stuff is, um, 
is some kind of a pet petrol distillate, right? So it's designed for petroleum, so it can be left in here. So yeah, use this stuff uh, to kill all that and then remedy it by um, uh, putting it into your tank because that's where most of these things grow. I mean, they live in dark environments and hang out there and uh, they kind of like growing down there, especially if it isn't, uh, you know, refreshed or used a lot. So if you let this stuff sit, you got to use this. I mean, there really is no um, going around it. And, and I've kind of learned the hard way. Now, what I had to do with my with my car is I had to um, basically put this uh, bio side into it and then I had to uh, replace the fuel filter. Now, granted, none of that is, is a lot of money, but it's lesson learned. Now I know that, hey, I got to be careful uh, what kind of uh, fuel that I, that I use in it. And I can't just be throwing around long term uh, fuel that I've been saving like I would in normal farm equipment. So yeah, uh, lesson learned. So rotate your diesel, definitely rotate your gasoline, but also use stuff like this, uh, fungal side, pesticide, you know, all of that side stuff, <laughs> bio side. So yeah, uh, I, would, I don't know if I can recommend this product yet. We'll see uh, how it works out. But yeah, it's a lot of material, a lot of um, pesticide, I guess, uh, for the money. Um, this was relatively inexpensive, and I only used um, a few ounces of it. Uh, so that's it. Alrighty, shalom.